Hi there, Virgo. Welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot forecast from the 22nd through to the 28th of October. I went ahead and shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First of all, you have the chariot upright, followed then by the ace or the queen of swords in the upright. And next we have the three of pentacles reversed followed by the Queen of Wands in the reverse. And next we have Major Arcana Temperance in the upright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. You have two Major Arcana here, but so it's not too intense. It seems to be more people coming up in all the readings for all the signs so far. There's lots of people going on. All right, so your overall energy is that of the chariot in the upright position. The chariot energy generally speaks of, it can speak of uh, victory, it can speak of high confidence, knowing exactly what we're doing, where we're going, and why we're going there. <laughs> it's a Virgo specialty. You guys are very much self-directed. You generally, when you make a plan of action, you go right for it, and you don't let anything get in your way. The only thing I say with the chariot energy is to watch you don't steamroll over <laughs> people's feet <laughs> while you're uh, moving full speed ahead. So the chariot energy just sees you for overall, just feeling really confident and maybe um, going towards your plan. You know what, what it is you're trying to accomplish this week. And it looks like you're uh, not letting anyone get in your way. You're, you're just moving straight forward, moving full steam ahead. Now we have the um, energies of the Queen of Swords in the upright position coming into the week of the 22nd. The Queen of Swords is a uh, court card, so it could be representing an air sign, which is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. The cards are not gender specific, so. Um, the Queen of Swords in the upright position, this is somebody who uh, who is in a position of authority, and she speaks uh, very, well, quite, eloquently and uh, she is very articulate she knows of what she's talking about and if it's this isn't representing a person Virgo it could be representing your own energy maybe you're dealing with uh, someone she's no nonsense like this could be if you were dealing with a situation say at work or at home or in any type of situation um, she's very clear about what she speaks about and uh, and it could be if you're dealing, say this is a boss, this is somebody you're dealing with at work or even at home, could be a parent, a mother, or father, or someone. Uh, this person could be speaking very straightforward, um, just getting, cutting right to the truth and being very, very blunt about it. So like I said, it could be your energy or it could be someone else's. Now moving on to the next card, you have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse position three of pentacles upright this is when teamwork everybody's getting together and they're on the same page working on a project working on a situation even a home situation everybody's you know putting in their fair share doing everything and it's uh we're sort of looking back and sort of admiring our work yes we did a good job however when it's in the reverse this can indicate maybe for some of you at work it could indicate uh, definitely a, a lack of seeing eye to eye with other uh, co-workers. It could be that um, there could be some squab squabbles going on in the office or at work where uh, co-workers are just not getting along, not seeing eye to eye. But it's very nice that the uh, energies of the Queen of Swords is here because if this is the situation that's going on at work, it could be that the Queen of Swords, the boss, comes in, steps in and sort of uh, takes control of the situation and straightens everything out. Now, it could be, like I said, your own energy. Maybe people are squabbling around you and you're stepping in and, uh, you know, wielding your sort of truth. You're just telling it like it is. You're just laying it all on the line. 
uh, you Virgos can be very uh, blunt and to the point and very much like the Queen of Swords when you have to be. So, it, like I said, it could just be your own energy, maybe straightening things out with the people you work with, or even in a home situation, maybe you are just sort of stepping in and being like the Queen of Swords. And if it, that's not the case, then it could be that you have somebody in authority around that is going to straighten out the matter and straighten out the situation. Now, moving towards the weekend of the 27th, you have the uh, energies of the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Um, Queen of Wands is a court card, so it could be representing a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising, and male or female. The Queen of Wands, um, upright, again, can represent an authority figure, uh, can represent somebody in your household, family member, a friend, or a co-worker. Um, when she's upright, she's, uh, she's not too difficult to deal with. Uh, she's sort of, um, she's on the ball. She can be, uh, very active, very, uh, like full of, um, ideas and, uh, coming up with like multiple ideas, how to fix things or how to work things out, things like that. Or she could just be on the move all the time. In reverse, um, this is uh, not great, the greatest energy, because when she's reversed, uh, this can be representing anything from maybe this person is giving you a hard time, maybe this person is being really difficult to deal with, can be related to this uh, not getting along and not seeing eye to eye with somebody. Could be this person, this Queen of Wands is the troublemaker, this person is causing uh, most of the problems, the reason that the people are not getting on it at work uh, or in the household. Like I said, it's just a general read, so it's going to be different for all of you. It could be playing out in any number of ways. This could be even in a relationship situation. Maybe this person is coming in and, and messing with your relationship and causing things to go out of whack. But um, it seems like you're moving full steam ahead. You know exactly what you want to do and where you want to go and what you want to accomplish. And you have the confidence to move forward with it. It just looks like there's there could be uh, some kind of uh, minor problem going on, like I said, household or work. Now at the end of the read, you have the energies of temperance in the upright position. This is really good to go into the weekend with. Temperance is a card that represents balance, balancing things out. It looks to me like um, this could be what's happening here, Virgo, is that, you know, you come into the week strong, you have a plan of action, you're moving towards um, what it is you want to implement, but then you hit a glitch. Uh, maybe people are not cooperating with you, with your plan or your idea, and there could be somebody that you end up in an argument with or a disagreement with, and um, they're just being very difficult. But then you find a way at the end of the week to balance it all out and make it all work. Temperance card is speaking of... Uh, blending things really well together so it could be if uh, you're mediating between other people who are not getting along you could become find yourself at the end of the week being the mediator that makes everything blend well and work out okay and if not then it could be that the situation resolves itself due to someone else stepping in perhaps the queen of swords stepping in and straightening the matter out and then you guys go back to harmony and then you carry on with your plan. <laughs> yeah, it's overall, it's not a bad reading at all. Um, Virgo, it just looks like you hit a snag in the middle of the week, but it looks like it all works out in the end with the temperance being there, it all balances. So I hope this reading helped you, Virgo. Thank you very much for your support, for all of your likes, shares, comments, donations, it's much appreciated. I, uh, uh, If you would like to um, book a, private reading with me. The details are in the about section on this matter or any other. And until next week, Virgo, you guys take care. Have a wonderful week. Bye for now.